we stand in a beautiful location here with this Leighton Utah temple. But this temple is only one of temples being built right now throughout the world. Under the direction of the First Presidency, the Temple Department will make suggestions based on number of membership or membership statistics and, and, uh, and growth, and they will take that back. And the First Presidency will then make that final determination, yes, that's the right location. And then from a bishopric standpoint, we help find the specific site within that framework, that location. Not every building, not every temple now is, is custom designed like they were in the past. So we have some beautiful designs that have been authorized by the First Presidency that we refer to as core designs, depending on the, the size of the temple. And that size is based on the number of members around the world where temples are being built. But because of those core designs, the design to construct a temple has been shortened from about 18 months down to about six or seven months. The floor plans are the same, but you wouldn't know it when you look at the temples. Each temple is unique and different in the exterior finishes, the interior finishes and we construct the temple so that we use local materials and uh, architectural themes that are consistent with the culture and the people of the area. Temples really are a miracle. There are no other Christian churches building temples like we do. And every time I'm in a temple or see a temple, I just think, what a miracle. This is fulfillment of prophecy, that temples would one day dot the earth. And we're seeing that fulfilled right before our eyes today. I think there are so many instances that the three of us could say, we can testify it is a miracle. We see miracles happening all the time with finding sites for temples and the way that uh, we obtain uh, permission to build. Everything about the temple points us to Jesus Christ. The, the purpose of the temple is to help draw us closer to Him. Above the doorframe of the temple, it says house of the Lord. And we believe firmly that that is not symbolic, it truly is His house. We go there to draw closer to our Father in Heaven, the Savior, and to become more like Him. As Bishop Rick, we focus a lot on the design of temples, on their physical aspects, but that's not the most important part. The important part is what happens inside a temple when it is dedicated. The ordinances, the covenants, the peoples, of course.